welcome to my studio. My name's Aileen and this is behind the scenes of my series telling one of the greatest love stories in history. This is my friend Lena, she's a belly dancer. Her love of dance was inspired by one of the greatest romances in history. So, with a little digital magic from me, Lena and her husband Yevgen tell Hurem and Suleiman's story, while weaving in some of their own romance and Ukrainian heritage. A tale begins long ago in Rusinia, now western Ukraine, where a girl, Alexandra, was born. But we can't spend time with Alexandra in Rusinia. Crimean Tatars raided her village and took her as a slave. She was sent to the top copper palace in Istanbul, Turkey, to the harem of Suleiman, the magnificent ruler of the Ottoman Empire. In Ukraine, the Kalina bush, with its bright red winter berries, is a national symbol intertwined in legend and folklore. At this point in our story, Alexandra could be said to be crossing the Kalina Bridge, symbolising the ending of her time of youth and leaving the past behind. She doesn't know it yet, but she will find freedom, happiness and love. So, because this is a love story, we could also say that Alexandra is walking down the Kalina Bridge, meaning that she will fall in love. History knows Hurem by many names. She was born Alexandra, but among the Ottomans she was not called Roxolana, the Ruthenian one, a nickname referring to her heritage. She soon caught Suleiman's attention and became one of his favourite consorts. He named her Hurem, meaning the cheerful one. You may also see her called Hurem Haseki Sultan. She was the first to bear the title of Haseki Sultan, meaning chief consort or single favourite of the Sultan. And thus, one of the greatest romances in history begins. Suleiman broke centuries of tradition for Hurem. Harem rules dictated that concubines could only bear the Sultan one son, to prevent feuds and rivalries amongst the sons as well as the mothers. Hurem bore Suleiman five sons and a daughter. Hurem was born the daughter of an Orthodox Christian priest. She asked Suleiman to instruct her in the Muslim faith and then converted to Islam for him. Centuries of tradition decreed that sultans did not marry their concubines. Suleiman gave Hurem her freedom. Hurem then told him she couldn't share a bed with him as a free woman because her new religion wouldn't allow it. Suleiman married her three days later in a magnificent ceremony. Ottoman imperial tradition stated that when a son of the Sultan came of age, he and his mother were to be sent to a faraway province. Hurem, however, stayed in the Sultan's court all her life. Hurem was an intelligent woman and well educated. She became Suleiman's political advisor in state and in national affairs. She also had a hand in controlling the Crimean Tatar slave raiding. Suleiman was a poet. Signed Muhabi, meaning lover, Suleiman wrote poems for Hurem. You can find parts of the 400-year-old love poem he is reading to Hurem in the titles of the series. Our love story ends with Hurem and Suleiman together for eternity. They're buried in adjacent mausoleums. Hers is covered with exquisite blue and white Islamic tiles depicting the Garden of Paradise. In Hurem and Suleiman's time, tulips were highly prized flowers, symbolizing heaven and eternal life. Red tulips are for eternal love.
enlightened. Until next time.